Hi, welcome to AlgebraClass.com. We are going to be adding fractions with unlike denominators. And for this problem, we're going to find the sum for 3 fourths plus 1 third. This problem is written vertically. And I'm going to show you how to set up this problem so that you can add these fractions using that vertical method. Remember that when you add fractions, you must have common denominators. That means that the bottom numbers of your fractions must be the same. In this case, my denominators are not the same. Therefore, we must write equivalent fractions that have the same denominators. Now, how do we do that? Well, the first thing that we need to do is we need to find the common denominator or find the denominator that we can use that will be the same. We can't just pick any old number. It has to be a multiple of the denominators in order to work. So the first thing that you're going to do is we're going to find the multiples of 4. Multiple just means that when you multiply 4 by a number, the answer that you would get. So for example, 4 times 1 is 4. We're going to start with 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So 8 is a multiple of 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So 12 is a multiple of 4. And then 4 times 4 is 16. And I'm going to stop there. If I need to continue, I can come back and continue. We're going to do the same thing for 3. We're going to find the multiples of 3. So 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. And 3 times 3 is 9. And 3 times 4 is 12. Oops, and why did I write 14 there? Sorry about that. is 12. So when we write the multiples of 3, the reason I'm stopping here is because I see a common multiple. I see 12 as a multiple of 4 and 3. And as soon as I find the first multiple that is the same, I can stop because that is going to be the least common multiple or the smallest multiple. This number 12 is now going to become the least common denominator. So I'm going to simply rewrite 12 here as the denominator of a new fraction. Now I want to keep 3 fourths. I want to keep the same value. I'm going to rewrite another fraction that's going to have the same value as 3 fourths but it's just going to be written with a denominator of 12. And the same thing for 1 third. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that, again, we keep the value the same. As long as I multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same number, I can keep the value of the fraction. So I'm going to say to myself, 4 times what is 12? 4 times 3. So if I can multiply the denominator by 3, to get 12, then I can multiply the numerator by 3 as well. Because think about what's 3 divided by 3? 1. And when you multiply any number by 1, it keeps the same value. So I'm essentially just multiplying this denominator by 1, but I'm rewriting 1 as 3 divided by 3. So now I'm going to say 3 times 3 is 9. So this means that 3 fourths is exactly the same number as 9 twelfths. I've just written it with different numerators and different denominators. We're going to do the same thing here. 3 times what is 12? 3 times 4. So since I'm multiplying by 4 in the denominator, I'm going to multiply by 4 in the numerator. And then 1 times 4 is 4. So 1 third and 4 twelfths are exactly the same number, just written differently. And now I can go ahead and I can add. I'm going to add 9 and 4, my numerators. My denominator always stays the same. Whatever your common denominator is, that's going to be the denominator in your answer. And then I'm going to add the numerators. So 9 plus 4 is 13. So my answer to this problem, find the sum of 3 fourths plus 1 third is 13 twelfths. 
Now this answer is actually a, an improper fraction. And sometimes you may be instructed to leave it as an improper fraction. And sometimes you may be asked to rewrite it as a mixed number. So you would say to yourself, how many times does 12 go into 13? It goes in one full time. And then 13 minus 12 is 1. So there's 1 left over, because 12 times 1 is 12. And if there's 1 left over, that's my numerator. And then 12 is my denominator. So 13 twelfths is the same as 1 and 1 twelfth. This converting um, an improper fraction to a mixed number is an entirely new lesson. So if you're confused, there is a page for that lesson as well. Okay, so I hope this helped you to add fractions with unlike denominators.